Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So we, I say we, mostly me, are gonna start working on my JL again. We've done a lot to this vehicle. We've put it through its paces. We've tested a lot of different product over the years for a couple of different companies. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've kind of got this Jeep about where I want it to call its finished product. Pretty close to what I really just want. There's a few things that's time to kind of uh, clean up though. So it's been almost three years. We've destroyed most of the powder coat on all of our products. Um, just bashing them against the rocks, dragging them across every terrain you could possibly imagine across the whole country. We really destroyed a lot of powder coating. So we're gonna give this thing a facelift this winter. I'm gonna rip all the decals off. I'm gonna take it to a buddy of mine. He's gonna wheel the whole entire vehicle. He does body work for a living. I do have a wheel and all the pads and all that crap, but this guy's a pro. So I'm gonna let him do that. And then we're gonna design some new graphics for this. We're gonna rip off all the bumpers and sliders and get everything repowder coated. We're gonna make some modifications in the rear and we're gonna change some things up that I'm kind of excited about. I'm not gonna make any major changes in the front. Uh, and then we are gonna do a different set of fenders this year. Uh, the Rubicon fenders, while they're a little bit more high clearance than the stock fender or the standard fenders, have served us well. They're wide, they're bulky. I don't like the split fender look. Uh, it works fabulous and a lot of people run it and it works awesome. It's just not something I personally like the look of, so I've never split my fenders. But I did find a set of fenders that I think I can live with. Um, all the fenders that are out there just don't tickle my fancy. Um, and it's just strictly a personal thing. There's nothing wrong. There's a lot of good fender companies out there. JCR, um, you know, Metal Cloak, um, what's the Moto Bill? I mean, Genrite, there's some really darn nice fenders out there. They're just not my style uh, or not what I want, I guess, maybe even that's it. Um, but I did find a set that I think might serve the function of what I need them to do. So we're gonna make that modification as well this winter. And then we're probably gonna do some drivetrain work. It's time to change a few things up there. Me and Bob have been talking a lot about like, you know, turbos or superchargers or, I mean, I guess I suppose you could do a Hemi swap, but oh, that sounds silly. Why would you do a Hemi swap? And then, so we've been looking at all the different power adder systems out there. Maybe just leave it. Maybe we just uh, get rid of the Jeep, start over with a diesel. Well, we're not really sure what we want to do drivetrain wise yet. What do you think we should do? I don't know. I guess let's have an open discussion. What do we think we should do with the drivetrain on this thing? Uh, maybe we'll just leave it. It's been working good. We put 50,000 miles on, we've driven all across the country. So maybe it's time we uh, just leave it the heck alone. I have a hard time leaving stuff alone though. So today I'm gonna get my youngest kid out here. She's gonna start helping me rip all the graphics off. I'm gonna start ripping bumpers and sliders off. Uh, so we're gonna make some changes to the rear bumper area. Uh, that I'm kind of really excited about and I don't know we're gonna make this thing look different time to change it up some it looks like a twinsies of Bob and I don't really like Bob and he won't even come over and help anymore because like he's a family and crap I mean whatever I guess they're more important than I am so all right let's start working on this thing see where we get So we got the bumper off. We still got the winch plate to go. What we're gonna do while we got this tore apart, you'll see this worn winch here has made it through several pretty rough winters. The powder coat is also coming off, but the winch works perfect. So I'm gonna completely disassemble the winch and send some of these parts out to get powder coat as well, since we're gonna be there. And I'll show you here on the skid plate. So again, these come from the manufacturer, all powder coated and everything. We've had no issues with their powder coat. But you can only drag them across the rocks so many times before the powder coat just starts chipping away everywhere. It's not, nothing to do with the manufacturer. I don't give a crap what brand you buy. And you can see this is just black touch-up paint that I just brushed on with a brush to stop any rust and corrosion. So we're going to get these sandblasted and repowder coated so we can drag them across the rocks and do all this again because that's just what we do. So we're going to open the hood. We're going to get the winch unhooked all the electrical connections unhooked get the winch off there and then we're going to tear that down i don't do any prep for my powder coat because i sent it to a company they sandblast everything uh or use some sort of a media blasting agent and then uh, we just run it to the powder coater so let's tear this winch off and tear it apart Alright, the 
this is proving to be fun. I actually cut the rope off. It was junk anyways, I don't care. But this is how bad our Michigan winters are. Look at the rust on that drum. Look how rusted this is, I can't even get the bolt out. So what I'm doing is I'm peeling away all of the old fiber. I am gonna heat this up and attempt to break the whole thing free before I drill it out. If I have to, I'll drill it out, re-tap it. We are going to send this drum to get powder coated as well. Uh, I'm not gonna have much option to see that or we have to put a new winch on this thing. It's actually in worse shape than I can, thought it was gonna be in. So I hope you can hear me over the furnace, but I'm actually gonna kill the cameras and fight this thing for a little while and save you the boredom. And then we'll decide if we can fix this thing with some powder coat or not. finally got the winch tore down that was a pain in the butt so I completely tore the whole winch down I'll show you here this is the drum it's in pretty rough shape but insides of it are actually pretty good the drum itself is pretty rough I still need to extract this but now that I can get to it from the back side it'll be a lot easier as you can see the back sides right there so it'd be a lot easier to deal with once it's all tore apart I'm gonna get that all blasted and powder coated up as well and then, then I got all the bumper down here. I got, these are the pieces of the winch. This is the top bracket of the winch. So this is the unfortunate part of living in Michigan. Uh, the, the salt and everything that we have to deal with. We got this young lady here helping us. She's getting all the decals off. And next, I am gonna start taking these sliders off. He said there's nothing wrong with them. It's all just cosmetic from dragging them across the rocks. But uh, we like trying to keep our Jeep pretty. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start taking the sliders off and she's gonna do decals. She's got all the decals off. We got the sliders off. It looks really weird. I'm so used to seeing it with decals and sliders. We've got a pile of stuff for powder coat. We've got the bumper and skid and winch plate. A bunch of winch parts. So can't go to powder coat just quite yet. Cause like I mentioned, next week we're gonna be changing a whole bunch of something super cool in the rear. So stay tuned. And uh, we'll show you what we're going to do with that bumper next. We appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with us. We'll look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. See you, bye.